What is your point about the tube duct? Tube duct for heaters? Uh, with heaters. With heaters, yes. Actually, in what Pakistan, because we have a long shed compared to European, because you know, European have a uh, not more than 60 70 meter house there. They have a width of 19 20 meter. And uh, I see that there's 20,000 fog. They have a 20 25,000 fog maximum. In Pakistan, they have 30,000, 34,000, 35,000 fog in the house. But in Europe and there, everywhere they, they have a small length but big width with big width. You know, I tell you that where is a where there is a small length, your everything should be reached to the bird within time. But in in Pakistan, mostly we use the fire heaters, uh, the diesel heaters, okay? And uh, we place in the house, and sometimes we place in the outside of the house, we use the steel ducts. Uh, from the start and then we will use the plastic ducts. And we, we we also find the good result and it should be above one meter above from the floor and you must uh, make the holes according to the length because in starting you have a big hole but in, in, in the end side you have a small holes. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, just the, the problem is the cleaning for the duct to to uh, tube duct is no, the cleaning we, is we the used, problem we used plastic duct and that is used for only one part it's a uh, yes. and the uh, fin tube heater is the very nice uh, heating system with my experiences we used uh, three uh, sheds in Iran with the equal temperature in winter around the house in front and back and center. Fin to you is very nice. Also, I use the space ray heater from USA. Please repeat again. Space ray, space ray heater of USA. What is the uh, space ray? That's a 40 feet. This is a this is a LNG heater. LNG heater. It's a tube. This is a six to eight inch, eight inch tube and 40, 40 feet or just like uh, radiant uh, radiant heater. Radiant, yes. Space ray. Radiant. radiant. Yes, yes, yes. And located in the above the house. Yes. Uh, this is also the I uh in my experience. Uh, because of the working, because you know, I am also uh, uh, responsible for the production also. Also, we are responsible for the construction, installation, and after the production also, I involve in this activities. Uh, also, before when I am in uh, head position, head of department of electrical ventilation, that's my responsibility. And after that, when I am going to start my own company, the Haiko, uh, Hamza and Ran and company, uh, the consultancy company. And, and there also, I am involved in, in construction, site selection, installation of systems, and then in production also. So, if you have uh, more than uh, four or five, six dwelling uh, house, then it's good you install the space ray heater because there is no wear tear. Maximum 10% wear tear is there. Only just you have to take a lessons of LNG, you put a uh, five uh, uh, five turn of more than this uh, 5,000 meter uh, uh, one main tank you install your, in your farm area and you take a lessons and then you will uh, give a pipeline to give the connection to each of the house. So no need to arrange a wood for the wood heater or diesel for the diesel heater. Also, there's no problem of your uh, fire heaters. Their purpose problem, you don't have any problem. This is very durable and can't use working heaters. This is 40 feet length of the pipe and it will be a uh, there is an LNG, 
they have they take the they take the uh, air from the outside and uh, heat up your house and uh, for a uh, we recommend for 25000 there is a six heaters we recommend and there is a very good pleasant temperature special brooding and you know we i i developed 80 houses with that space ray radiators and we have very good result our our working uh, is very less and uh, we just it, it will just go and on that heaters sometime after two three floor we will set their nozzles according to the lng okay it's it maybe 19 bar or something i forget it but they it is written on the uh, nozzles that you will set it after this up sometime that this is the only working there and i think a lot of people are very easy after they install this huh? uh, in iran uh, also we use radiant heater with the natural natural gas yes. uh, ng natural gas uh, we located in the center of the house uh, bottom of the roof in the peak uh, but uh, one thing is very important to thermodynamic rules we have three type heating system convectional inductional and radiant radiant heater centralize the heat to the one point and one area convectional systems like as the air force heater jet heater uh, uh, blue uh, heat to the movement the heat the heating to the all of the area and induction uh, like as the uh, fin tube systems fin tube systems and also uh, bottom tube systems uh, uh, bottom uh, do you know about it uh, sometimes we located the warm to you located in the bottom mm. uh, bottom of the liter this is the inductional inductional have a good distribution of the heating and convectional with the good capacity but without good uh, the air profile and uh, uh, good uh, equal distribution of the heating and also uh, radiant have a uh, some advantage and disadvantage from two other uh, two other uh, say to you uh, like as the localized uh, uh, heating in the one area if you see in the system in the uh, broiler uh, house the birds located in uh, near to the brooder we say to this to the brooder like as the brooder and uh, in the co convectional we don't have the good distribution of the uh, heat in all of the house but in the radiant like as the fin tube and the bottom tube underground tube we have the good uh, heat distribution around the house what is your point about uh, my say you? Uh, because uh, I got experience for my knowledge and for my working, uh, working on different forms. As far as my experience, because you know, uh, being an engineer and being a project manager, we also create the, the cost of the system and also the problems the arrived problems and how to uh, manage the problems. 
and how many people's need we want for the petrol. And comparative to diesel and uh, this electric diesel heaters, the working is very less. If there is a hundred percent working, sometimes the light sensor is problem, burner problem, burner nozzle problem. Sometimes diesel problem. Sometimes there's a lot of uh, smoke and you know carbon dioxide is also it it generates also carbon dioxide. You know the uh, heaters, diesel heaters also generates the carbon dioxide also. So compared to that, I recommend the uh, this heaters because in brooding, what we do in brooding, in brooding we use only center of the house. We only use four. Uh, space radiating heaters. Uh, we will uh, from uh, 20 meter from the front side and 20 meter from the uh, rear side. We use that area, but more than 30 meter, 40 meter, because if we have a house of uh, uh, 70 meter, so we use 20. Uh, we use uh, 40 meter area from the roading. And this is four, there's a four uh, heaters is there. So it's very easy and they, they maintain the air temperature uh, just in 12 hours. They maintain the room temperature. And we, we what we do, our temperature says the location of the pressure says it is uh, one meter high, one meter high from the floor and also away from uh, three to four meter away from the heater. Near, it's near, but away from uh, heater. It's a uh, four meter away from the, the sensor should be. So in our my experience, uh, because I I face a lot of problems, especially uh, the burners, and sometimes they have no any uh, spare parts and things, and so many flaws disturb. Because sometimes they have only one heater. Here we have a six heaters. And if you have a problem of one or two heaters, then no problem. You can use your four heaters. I think this is also a very good option. 